Hey guys, it's Asia. Ooh. Hey guys, it's Asia, and I'm here with another video. And today's video is gonna be about um my face and my everyday routine for um summertime coming around. And you get like I have oily skin, so it's really hard for me to find products that work for me. So I'm gonna be showing you some good products for oily skin. And I think that's it. So let's get into the video. So I'm gonna start off with Becca. I already cleaned my face. I'm gonna start off with Becca Primer. Wait, I'm gonna give you this for you guys. I'm gonna start with Becca Primer. It really helps my face keep matte throughout the day and not oily because I have really oily skin. You only need about a pea size amount. Okay, I think you guys can see it for me, so I'm just gonna... And mostly focus it on your T-zone if you're an oily person. Next, I'm going to move on to my eyebrows, <laughs> and I'm going to be using all drugstore products, except for the Becca Primer, that's really it, but I'm going to be using um, Absolute, which is from the base of our store, uh, I don't know if you can see this, it's called Absolute. Absolute what? Absolute new. Oh, that's just New York. But um, it's a two-in-one brow perfector. On this side, it has a pencil, and then the other side, which is the side I use the most, is up the pomade. Pomade brush, and then actually the actual pomade is in this little container. And it twists up so you know you get in there with it. And just go ahead and dip it in there. So I'm guessing it's like an Anastasia brow thing, but a lot less, a lot cheaper. So I start out by lining out my eyes. And my eyes are my eyebrow is not like um shaped right now, so it's a little bit harder than usual. But we're gonna clean that up with some oh, what's that thing called? That's how you know my concealer. So you see how the shape going in. This right here, the whiteness you see is from the actual um, primer because it dries out your face in a good way especially if you have oily skin because once you put concealer on it it goes away so I'm gonna start the next eyebrow put the primer on and let it sit and do something else on your face so I always do my eyebrows but next with the face I'm gonna be using LA girl concealer in beautiful bronze and I usually only put this in my problem areas which is like around my mouth or any like dark spots I may have.
So with the with the excess that's on it, which is not a lot, because if you put too much, it can smudge everywhere else on your eyebrow. So I guess I'm just gonna outline my eyebrows so I can get a cleaner look because my eyebrows are not done right now. I'm gonna take this silicon blender, I don't know what the day I should call it, and just blend out everything. Okay, and then after that, I take this contour stick, which is a darker color than me, and just go ahead and contour my nose. And I think it's by Black Opal, and I got it from k -Part, I think. So I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do it under. Let me end the camera. I'm gonna get under, try to just raise. Let me just give it a little structure because I have no nose break. After that, I take this. This is called HD Set It and Forget It Setting Powder. It's by Ruby Kisses. Ruby Kisses. And then I got that other piece for a store too. And it's just a loose powder, as you can see. So I just take this and just dip it in a little bit, like that much, because this thing really gets mad. And I just put it under my eyes, around my nose. Powder, and this is in the color Toasted Almond. Pretty sure you see these like all be spliced words. Yep, and then I'm taking wait, there's I actually did some of this. So this is um toasted almond. But you know how they have like the little little puff thing in the back of it or sometimes you can help. But I just took the puff and just put chestnut in it so it's actually chestnut in the bottom that I'm using for my entire face and to get rid of this so I don't leave it for long I don't let it sit there I just put this everywhere. This is in my entire face. To get that matte kind of, you see? Yeah. After that, I have this. This is actually a lipstick, 
But you can use lipstick highlighter, honestly. I don't think anybody cares anymore as a highlighter. And it's actually called, it's by Absolute, again, by the same brand, which I will have everything linked below. It's the same brand as I use for my eyebrows. And it's called, what's the color called? Vibrant. And as you can see, it's really like a highlighter. Nobody would use this as a lipstick. It's really a I use it as like a highlighter stick. And I just put some on my nose. And I put it under my eyebrows. And then I just kind of put it there. Make it over more. Everybody like goes over more highlighter. And if you, as you can see right now, it looks spotty. Oh, first I gotta blend it out so it looks smooth. And I'm gonna use the same thing I used to do my to see what this smooth everything out. So you have that nice little circle. Um, after that, I used, I bought this at like Bottom Below, yeah, you see crack or whatever, but it's called Bombshell Cosmetic, and it's just glittery eyeshadows, and I'm, I'm not an eyeshadow person, so I just use the colors, like, the colors that are like this and this, don't mind my ugly ass nail, but like the little gold color to kind of just set the highlighter because it is a good um i'm gonna use this one in the corner this one and then i'm just gonna go with my nose and i'm just gonna use my finger for it because you're a possessor and then uh, go over with this That extra little glow. My favorite, like, I, I really have to have that nose I like pop it. I'm putting it in the corner of my eyes. So, yeah. So, right, usually. I would have eyelashes extensions, but and I do my own eyelash extensions, but I felt lazy and I didn't feel like doing it. So when I don't do those, I use mascara. Um, I use a regular George Drugstore brand. It's called Lash Potion by Revlon. And the brush is um nice and I have like really curly eyelashes, so it's kind of means a lot if it's big or not because I really like to get in it to make them longer so it's the brush You can't see too much of a difference, but it's better than nothing. Okay. 
Yeah, sometimes I just don't feel like doing it, so. So that's different. Eyeliner. It's gonna create a tiny wing. Very tiny because my eyelids do this, they meet right here really easily. So if I did it too big, it would just look like it would take over my entire eye. But it's small, it just looks like it's there, but not too much. Just like Your face is coming together. And last but not least, I use Eco Eco's Eos lip balm and then some just regular lipstick I got from the Supply Store. I don't know what to do. We're just using. I think it smells like lavender or something. Some moisturize it. And this usually keeps your um lash your um not lash, but uh lip gloss popping for a longer period of time. So your lip doesn't like soak up all the moisture from the lip gloss and stuff. And just get yourself a little gloss. I'm gonna go do my hair and I'll be right back. 